I started at McMaster as an undergraduate student in the Cognitive Science of Language program, uh, and then I completed my master's degree in the Cognitive Science of Language program in Ariel. Uh, I was in the Syntax lab with Dr. Ivana Kucherova, and I did my master's thesis in experimental syntax. I'm the Research Training and Knowledge Mobilization Manager for the Canadian Research Data Centre Network and I help facilitate different research projects going on at CRDCN and at the research data centers. Um, and we work with different government departments as well to help facilitate research done with Statistics Canada data and provincial health data. My degrees in language sciences have been really helpful, especially as it relates to knowledge translation and knowledge mobilization. That's a really big part of my job, taking work that researchers have done and being able to support translation of that work um, to the general population and to policymakers. Um, and my time at McMaster in language sciences has also been really helpful in honing my research skills. So that's everything from reading primary research um, to helping with the different phases of research and developing questions and that type of thing. So I've had two jobs since completing my graduate degree at Ariel. Uh, the first job I had a six month period of applying. I applied to almost 50 jobs. I didn't hear back from anywhere for five months. Um, and then I heard back from three places and I think something that really contributed to that is during that time I was really honing my skills and improving my resume and my cover letter. Um, and so by the time those interviews rolled around, I was able to secure two different jobs and ended up taking a job as a research coordinator. Um, two years down the line from that, uh, the grant funding ran out and I was looking for a new role. Um, and that time around, it only took me one month to find my job. I applied to less than 10 jobs and got multiple job offers, which landed me in my current role. Um, and. I learned how to market myself better, market the skills that I learned in my different language sciences degrees, um, and I had two more years of work under my belt at that point. My resume and cover letter changed a lot. Um, one of the key changes is that I made sure I was really tailoring both my resume and my cover letter to the position I was applying to, applying to and to the company or department I was applying to. Um, and so I made sure there was really a personal note about myself and about the role or the place I was applying to in the introduction of my cover letter uh, to try and help me stand out from the other applicants. So I would often pull something from the research that that team was doing or the mission statement of the company um, and state, you know, why I was interested in that. And I think that that really helped. Another thing that I think really helped was really changing the description of the, role, the, the tasks I was doing in my past positions to really tie into the job I was applying to in that moment. Um, and I think once I did that and I also updated the graphic design of my application materials, I think that really strengthened my applications. Uh, if I was speaking to my 2020 self right after finishing my Master's of Science degree, I think that I would have liked to know at that point that it was going to take some time and that those rejections did not mean that the degree I completed wasn't valuable or that the skills I had learned weren't valuable. Um, and that that process of doing those applications really helped me hone in on what I was interested in and ultimately um, was a really great learning experience for the next time I had to apply for jobs. I, I, instead of getting that first job I applied for, which is not what happened, um, I got a lot of experience with the job search process and I, and I think that benefited me in the long run even though it was tough uh, right off the bat. <laughs>